Dear friends, welcome back. In this video, we will continue our journey of a pen testing. The machine I'm going to do is MinU V2. The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download and play this machine if you want. In this video, we are, we are going to learn what the SVG file is and how to know whether there is any vulnerability attached or in, re in relation to this sort of a file and how to exploit such vulnerability. Okay, so there will be a lot to take. Enough said, let's just get started. We can go inside the Kernel Linux VM. Above all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. The utility I'd like to use is netdiscover. As always, we can use sudo netdiscover. And as you can see, it's starting. Yeah, this IP address, IP address should be the IP address of the target. And next, we need to do the MM scanning to save time. I've already done that earlier. So for now, we just cut out the result of the a map scanning. As you can see, the first one is 22, which is running SSH surface, and also the verse information. I think this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And next one, 3306. Of course, by default, this port number will run the MySQL surface. However, because I use the version scanning as option to scan. The, the the response from the response we can tell that uh, actually this is not a MySQL surface at all. This is some sort of the HTTP surface. So next I think we can use a browser to make a manual emulation. So let's do do it now. Let's open our browser to do the manual emulation first. And we can put the IP address of the target into the address bar. Okay. So, oh, sorry, I forgot to specify the port number because this is not default port number. Yeah, as you can see, we got the page back. Camera doesn't know this way, nothing special. And also we can check the source code, which doesn't reveal anything interesting. And also we need to check whether this site has a robot file. Yeah, nothing different we can get. And next, we can use the negative to do the emulation, automatic emulation. You know, negative can give us a lot of different types of information about the web application. For example, like the header information, the you know the header, and also some common files or direct directories can be emulated out. In this case, I think I don't think we can get. Uh, anything important from Nikto to save time I will not wait. Next we can use GoBuster to do the directory emulation. We can put the IP address of the target and we need to specify the port number and as always I will use the Buster word list as my word list to scan directory and extension option as always so now we immediately we got to find this file upload dot html and we can access this html file and yeah very simple page we can allow us to upload image and so I think before we try you know how to find the vulnerability for this for the site or for the function provided by the site we need to do the you know we need to walk through to see what this upload function works okay so let me drag down some picture yeah any picture sorry about this I'd like to go to Bing to download some picture because here require us to upload the image to preview right so of course we can go to like we can put New York yeah 
I hope in the future I can I can accept I can visit this city and the images maybe I can close up the GoBuster to save the resource of my machine after all I'm running on the VM and uh, now we go back yeah I'd like to open any picture and then we can save the image to my working directory should be around around here yeah this one we can rename this file or this picture like a test and uh, save so now we can go back and we can browse go to the our working directory However, we are required to, because here, we are required to submit the SVG file. You know, this is some sort of the uh, different format of the picture, which is based on the XML, okay? So, of course, this, you know, we can bypass from here. I think we can know that uh, this control is done, is implemented, implemented on the client. So if we open up the inspect and uh, locate this upload button, oh, sorry. So we need to button here. And as you can see here, just accept uh, SVG Im image. So to bypass we just remove yeah this limitation right and then we can browse and go to our working directory and then we can select this picture and upload although yeah we can upload the file however we got some very weird message and 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 t port of course i'm not so let me that uh, there's some some filtering or control adopted on the target. I mean the at the background, at the back end. And so how to do? Maybe we can find. Could we find the FG SVG file? Maybe we can picture SVG file icon. Maybe icon. Yeah, I do not want to find some SVG file. And you, if you want, you can check by yourself. Anyway, you know, uh, at this point, we know the target or the server is running some sort of control. And it only accept SVG file. And uh, if you do not know what the SVG file is, we can go here, as you can see here. Yeah, this is some sort of the built on the SV, the XML. And for example, we can change the attribute to generate different picture. As you can see, the circle, the color has been changed. And if you want to change the also the yellow, we can change it to anyone, for example, like red, and run it. So I think at this point we know the SVG file is built on the XML and uh, I think we have written down some machines which is related to the XML and XML has some vulnerabilities for example like XXE vulnerability the XML external XML external entity vulnerability which allow us to refer refer to the external entity for example like local file system even you know remote remote machine okay so we need to find whether svg4 has vulnerability and if you if you use google to make some search you know that um, yeah this svg has the xse injection vulnerability and even give us the poc as you can see over here yeah, we the, we can read or retrieve the password file, and uh, you know this 
this format is not very pretty and you can copy yeah copy and uh, go here printer or formatter we can you know so this one would be uh, much more clear and you can know yes XML is very easy to understand so we can change the path to read different file right so for now we can copy to see whether the target is vulnerable to the XSE vulnerability okay let's copy and let's go to our kind of Linux and we can generate like uh, exploit so one SVG and we can put in here and let's write and quit so then now we can maybe I can close down the inspect tool and now we can select this SVG file upload as you can see now we can read the puzzle file however it looks like the data is not displayed completely we can check the source code of this as you can see we can get the complete you know complete content and we can copy and note it down to our notebook so as you can see from the from this file we can tell that the target has one normal user and the next if we know that we can access local file system next we need to test whether we can access its private key okay so we can you know we can generate the second exploit or malicious payload and we can you know exploit two and we need to change the path for example we want to retrieve the private key right home employ ssh and write okay write and quit now we can do the same thing to upload the the svg file upload yeah we got an error failure to process entity anyway that uh, maybe this file is not available on the target next we need to check whether we can access the local file right oh sorry exploit and exploit three svg and uh, we need to modify the the path var lock author lock right and quit and uh, we can repeat the steps and upload yeah failure we got the same error also we need to check whether the target has remote file inclusion vulnerability or access the file remotely by utilizing the XSE vulnerability so how to do you know we can create a very simple file like JSON and we can set up the web server right and uh, and uh, we can generate or create another the fourth payload we can copy exploit okay and um, edit this new payload so we can scroll down here and change this path to our Linux, right test to see whether we can access the file remotely remote file we can upload yeah, this file and upload upload the so it means that uh, we can retrieve the 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 content from the remote machine okay so next we can try to access the reverse share file to exploit this vulnerability and we need to change the IP address and 
the product number and right create and uh, we need to set up the Nisana on the Kanye Linux and then we can go back and then we can browse oh sorry I need to I think so what I'm doing I need to we can cut out the fourth one yeah okay I also need to check my yeah the IP address of my Kanye Linux is correct so now we can open upload and however nothing happened oh sorry we need to change the the payload we need to change the file name I forgot to do that so not test file we need to access the reverse shell file right and we can write and quit you know I just show you the the standard methodology we can go back browse and open yeah we got some error right we got some error so maybe this way cannot work so how to do maybe I need to close down the Nisna you know just now we have really know that the target has you know has the uh, we can retrieve the password file do you notice this one yeah this employ the the the, the shell tab is ash rather than bash the normal one so maybe we can get the history file right we need to check okay so now we can continue our our attempts we can copy and exploit things let's see oh not this one maybe we can copy not the three we want to access local file right and we want to access history file and we can change home employ the username and ash history yeah here it's not a bash because we have really known its shell type right so now we can go back the browser to repeat those steps and we can upload it looks like we got some information use at and the D means some yeah boss do not hack me I think this is some sort of the the description and uh, it, lo it looks like this is a password so we can copy and note it down to our notebook and then next we can access target by SSH right oh, yes and we can paste in here yeah it does work and now we need to you know we need to uh, emirate local machine or emirate machine or emirate the target locally and we need to get the help from the Nimpia shell script we can copy maybe I have already got this yeah this far ready so now we can upload this shell script no problem I have already showcased this technique for many many times oh sorry not uh, I mistype the IP address of the Kani Linux I'm a bit confused sorry about that no time no error now we can run this this shell script okay You know, if we, want, if we want to escalate our privilege, in most cases, we need to get the help from the 
Nimpia share script. Okay, it's done. And we can scroll back, scroll to scroll up to the SUID. Okay, here we got some interesting information. Unknown SUID binary. You know, so I think we can go to, you know, we can run this binary. It look it looks like this some sort of the editor, right? To be honest, to be honest, I never used uh, this editor, so we can use the some Google, the Linux, Linux micro, yeah, editor, yeah. Here give you some usage. Yeah, we can install and how to use. So next, because this binary has SUID bit on. Um, which mean which mean that when the current user run this editor or this binary will get temporarily the privilege of the owner as you know the owner of this binary is loot so then by this means we can escalate our privilege so how to do you know because the editor for example we can add the 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 file or our user to the password file i think similarly thing similar thing have have already been done right for example we can copy this line yeah and uh, we can generate the new user for example we can use the sudo open and generate the encrypted password and we can copy and then you know we can we can replace this one and also the username so then we can copy this line so how to do we can use the yes bin micro micro and password However, nothing there, very weird, right? So how to do? You know, we can use different way. We can, yeah, we can, you can, we can use tunnel. We can cut out this file and the tunnel to this utility or this editor. As you can see now, we can see the content of this file and we can scroll down to the bottom and we can paste our new user here and write and wait we can control and s we can save it to the password file yeah no problem and then we can we can confirm we have already append our user information to this file so then we can change it to the json our created user one two three four five six however you will get the error so this way normally we can use this way to up to escalate our privilege however in this case this way cannot work so how to do we just change the password for the loot user so how to do you can password and tunnel to us bin micro micro okay and we can change changing we can copy this password this encrypt password you can copy and paste in here okay and we can save hopefully this time yeah it can work so then we can switch to root user one two three four five six it does work and then we can navigate to root directory and then we can get out the flag without any problem. So that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.